Hi, this is Kat with Beta Halik, and today I'm going to show you how to do a Mobius spiral in chainmail. So for this project, you're going to need two different sizes of chainmail jump rings. And today I'm using artistic wire. I want to show you how they appear on the package when we sell them here. And you'll notice it has ID, and that stands for inner diameter. So we're going to be working with a 730 seconds in 18 gauge and we're also going to be working with another 18 gauge but it's 11 64th. So these are the two sizes that I find are best for this project. So let's begin. You're going to need your two uh, chain nose pliers. I like to use the same pliers because all you're doing is opening and closing jump rings so it makes it a little bit easier to handle. And as you can see, I've already opened all of my jump rings with the exception of one, because I need to start with a closed. And then I've opened the other size as well, but we won't be using those just yet. So to create the spiral that you see here, we're going to start with one closed jump ring. And onto this jump ring, we're going to add one open jump ring. And just go ahead and Close that nice and tight. And that's the thing about chainmail. It can be a bit slippery, so just try to hold tight, especially when you're working with like an 18 gauge. Just don't get frustrated. Chainmail is definitely for the patient. So now I have my two rings, and I'm going to go ahead and set them down and kind of lock them together like that. So you can see what we're gonna end up doing is we're going to add jump rings and they're going to be in concentric circles like that. So now I'm gonna pick up my another open jump ring and I'm gonna go take my little hook and go down through so I keep that spiral going. You see how now it's on there nicely? And now all I'm gonna do is just adjust it in my pliers and I'm gonna close this jump ring. And again, go ahead and set it down and just adjust your spiral so that it keeps spiraling. And just repeat. So I'm gonna take one more and get it in my pliers there. And I'm gonna go down and catch all three and keep them in their spiral, just like that. And now again, it's a lot of adjusting with your pliers, but just Remain patient, so that one is closed. So again, I'm just gonna put it down and make sure that it continues that spiral. You can see how it's starting to develop. Now, this is the fifth jump ring. And now it starts to get a little tight in there, so just help it out a little. Again, move your pliers where they need to be. Close that jump ring. And again, set it down so you can find the center. And this is our final jump ring, the sixth jump ring. And I'm gonna go down through the center one more time. And this one's the hardest. There we go. So I picked up all six, or all five. This is the sixth one. And now I'm just going to close this last one. And again, set it down. So you see how that spiral is really nice like that? It matches the one in my bracelet here. So now as you can see, on either side of your spiral, you're going to add two jump rings. And these jump rings are going to be our other size, our smaller size. So let me just bring them over. Okay, now the first one is the trickiest. Because what you're going to need to do is, again, this is a smaller jump ring, so you're going to go down through the center, hook all of them, and bring them up. And hold. And now you're just going to close this jump ring. And now you don't want this one to fall into the center. So what I recommend now is trying to hold your work, just like so, taking another jump ring. This is why it's good to have them already previously opened and putting it through that center hole, which it's gonna be hard to see here, but. So I went through all the jump rings and it's around that center hole again, you see? And now I'm just going to close that. And there we 
go. Okay, so now I have two jump rings to one side. The easiest thing to do now to hold your work in place is we need to add two more jump rings to this side down here, but I'm going to go ahead and add one of the jump rings on the top here. And that way it'll hold these two guys in place. One more of the smaller size that I'm adding to these two top ones there. And then just to complete this, I'm going to add this last one into these two rings one last time. So now, this is what I'm working with. So I have my spiral, my two, and two. And you're just gonna continue in this pattern. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to add on the other two to the end of the spiral so you can work in both directions. So again, if you're holding your work, you're gonna to need to go down through the center of your spiral and come up, making sure to catch all the rings and just kind of wiggle it around there so you can get a good grip. And now close the jump ring. And with this last one, same thing. And go through all the rings, just like that. And close. And you're just gonna continue in the same pattern And the rings that are the spirals are the only ones that are that size. These are your bigger rings, and then all of these little ones in between, these are going to be your smaller rings. And you can find the complete details on how to purchase all of this and get these items so that you'll make sure you have the right size if you want to do this particular project. And you'll be able to find all of that at bitahalik.com.